Hello. Um, it's looking for a game to capture. Why don't you know that I'm playing this game? It's on full screen. But you know what? That's not reliable at all, is it? Blind that. Let's just give you an entire monitor to look at. Where are you? Display capture. Display capture. Let's just call this left monitor. Add sources. Done. Ooh, that's a weird perspective. Let's cover me up and then let's put it underneath everything else. Right, hopefully that doesn't look too horrible. Um, guess we'll find out the hard way if that's going to be painful. Right, let's bring up the game. Now, the game is got some volume to it, so I'm actually going to turn down the volume in my ears to something a bit more manageable, and hopefully then I'm still louder than the game when I talk. But if I'm not, uh, tell me, and I'll do something about it. Or don't tell me and be glad that you don't have to listen to my voice nearly as loud as a game. Uh, we're playing a game called Abacus. Um, friend of mine, friend of a friend made this. Um, and I just said, ah, you know what, I'm not doing anything. I'll, I'll, I'll stream it. I'll, I'll just, I'll play it. And I'll, I'll stream it while I play it because it just sounds interesting. Sounds like a nice way to spend my night. Abacus, so um, I know it's an indie game, I know it's a platform, I know I'm going to have to do some shooting, but really I don't know much else. Um, really cool menu music straight off the bat. This has been... I've been listening to this music now for like five minutes, and it just hasn't dropped a beat, it doesn't loop badly, it's just damn slamming good music. So we're going to do new world, new game, and I guess I'm going to go to Blossom Bluffs. Incoming trap mission. Abacus, I'm in trouble. Please come find me. Your friend, Tally. I'm gonna come find you, Tally. Oh, uh, we're playing. There's a shoot. Okay, left click isn't doing anything, so I can't shoot uh, yet. I got jump. I go up there. No. Ah. But I see. I picked up a star. I'm gonna pick up that star. I'm gonna pick up this star. Um, that looks like a hole that I'll fall down. Uh, I'm wondering if there's any other buttons I should be aware of, or if I'll just learn them. Oh, okay. For some reason I thought I was going to hit that tree thing. How do I get those stars down there? I don't have a double jump. Hmm. I don't think I can get it yet, but I think I'll... Maybe this, like, Sonic, where there's, like, secrets and, like, secret tunnels and things in the wall. But how would I know... How would I know? Oh, let's just risk a death. Respawning. Abacus fell to his death. Yes. Okay. Hmm. Bridge. Nothing there. Okay. Let's just move on. Because I'm not going to try and doom eternal this where I spend 10 minutes figuring out. Okay. I did that level. And now there's something in the top left. Please look around, says the Virtue Mart. Glob. Hello, Glob. I'm going to buy a sword from you, Glob, if you don't mind. Um, haha, I can totally buy a double jump. I knew it. Okay, and I can buy a shield. Right. Warning. Hostiles detected. Recommendation. Take evasive action. What? What? I fucking take my. Take my sword. Fucking take my sword. Ha! Yes, I am a pro at this game. I am a professional at game video. Uh, God damn. Can I get that star? I want that star. I want that star. Give me that. Yes. Look at these professional. Okay, okay. Okay, we're getting a bit, we're getting a bit big for my br britches. Um, so we're not going to do that. This is a star. Oh, come on. Did I get the star? Do I get to keep that star? I can't tell if I get to keep that star or not. No, I don't. Hmm. I like this. The sword is, is sort of a boomerang. Okay. 
Uh, I can't kill the sheep. Um, let's go down. Can I go down here? Ah, you can't go, like, down. So, presumably, the point is to kind of go down and land in this tunnel and then come up. Okay, well, seeing as that's not an option to me, that's fine. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Red Star, move on. Uh, can I board, afford double jump? No, in that case, get out of here. Advertisement. Need weapons? Stop by the Virtue Mart today. Free delivery. Press space to continue. Thank you, Virtue Mart. Let's go. Oh, God, the red bird absolutely flies. Oh, my God, that's an aggressive bird. Oh, oof. Get out of here. Get out. Get out of here. Oh, man. It's like seagulls in Brighton or some shit. Um, <laughs> bit of a bit of a Brighton joke for for you, South South East UK folk. Ugh. Oh wait, the blue the blue bird isn't a danger to me. Ah, fuck! But I can throw swords like nobody's business, so I should do that more often. It looks like I can go down here. Do I trust it? I I trusted it. And now, I think getting back. Okay. I have no one to blame but myself for that. Um, oh, there's all that stuff down there, but I don't know how to get down there yet. Ow. Ow. Ow, there's so many of these bastards. Get, get out of my... Get out of my space. Okay. Oh, yep. Yep. Oh, bird. Yep. Star. Star. Okay. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Let's move on. Ow. Yeah, look at that one hit. Let's get you and come down here and then get up and then get out. Level cleared. 18 stars. Let's get me a double jump. Oh, now there's loads of stuff. Crescent, splatter gun, scorcher, swarm, and heli turrets. Okay, I've got double jump now, so let's see if I can go back and do old stars, because I get the sense. Like, I don't think I could get up there for three stars yet. I don't think I could get... Oh, actually, I could probably get up there if I make use of this. Yeah, in fact, I maybe could have got up there with one jump if I was paying attention. Anyways, let's go jump. Ju wow. Um, that was... That was not my best moment. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. I can totally do this. I can totally do this. Huh, huh, uh, fuck. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Huh, huh. Yes. Huh, huh. Yes. We have mastered the drop down double jump maneuver. Um, we're going to go back and try and get some of these other... Oh, why did I just jump into that bird? Oof. Okay, let's go get that star. And then let's go get this star. Oh, no, no, no. Come on. Do I keep that star? Do I keep that star? I think I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Okay. Right. What other stars did I miss out on? Because I'm a double jump noob. Yes. This is how you play the game. You just fail. Um, God, I should really just do this the way... Oh. Oh. Okay, come on. Oh, come on. We can totally do that jump. Yes. Oh, do you reckon there's even more up here? I reckon there's even more. Yes. Let's risk it. More to the left? No. <laughs> okay. Here I thought I was going to find a whole new level. But... Okay, 18 stars. Not bad. Not bad. Let's go. All right. I've gone to the next level that I haven't done. Abacus, are you coming? I'm scared. Your friend, Tally. I'm sorry, Tally, I'm coming. I promise. Hey. Hey, you boys. Hey, you bloody... 
bloody boys, stop your shenanigans. Hey, none of this. None of this behavior. Okay? Stop being such a mean burb. Star. Ow. Just getting hit by eggs I shouldn't be getting hit by. Oh, okay. Whoop. 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 Come on. Whip! Uh, sword keeps hitting the fucking... No! Oh my god, that would have been just so embarrassing for me if I had died like that. Good thing I didn't die like... What? Oh, I thought I killed it. Um, good thing I didn't die like that. Okay. I go for that star there. I mean, if I don't go for it now, then I'll never go for it. But I should probably kill out this boy before I make silly, risky decisions like that. Okay, level clear. Let's go to the last one. Area broadcast. The cliffs, the cliffs are a bird watcher's paradise. Just don't get too close. Um, get too close is my. Oh God. Oh oh. No, I, I get it, I get it. The the nest is spawning them. Is this where I should maybe have bought the item called shield? Ooh, I like the I like the ladder sound. It's a good sound. What's down there? Oh. But wait, there's something down here. Yeah. 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 Ah, the, so the sword definitely also benefits from like momentum. Like, if you put momentum into your sword. Oh god, where am I going? That was just a silly idea, wasn't it? I meant to go through the tunnel. This one. There we go. Ah, no. No. Throw, 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 throw. Can't handle my. Swords. Sword technique. Yes. Hey. No. Oh. I did a slippity. Slipped off the edge. Come on. Ow. 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 No. Stop it. Destroy the nest. Destroy the nest. Swordman. Abacus boy. Whatever your full name is. Okay. What are we doing about stars here? Because I feel like... There's a... Okay, let's just move on. Let's just move on. And that should give me enough stars now to have bought some of these more exciting items. Like heli turrets. Doesn't that sound like a good idea against birds? Let's buy heli turrets. Fuck it. I'm just going for straight for the most expensive item. Golem Grotto. Incoming transmission. Abacus, you're getting closer. Please hurry. Your friend. Tally. Hey. Hey, 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 hey now. Hey now, hey now, hey now. Don't show me stars at the beginning of the level. Ah, okay. So this is how I change weapons. Here you go. Heli turrets. Please fire on my behalf. Fire. Fire. F fire. Oh, I see. Maybe that's not an enemy that you shoot at. It's one that just walks. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. Okay, so in that case, let's go around. Uh, what's below me? Oh, I guess I found out the hard way. 
Um, silly me, silly me. You. Dun, 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 dun. Come back past. Okay. Uh, I guess I should just go back now, I guess. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to... Like, I want to just go past him, but I don't actually want to know what happens if I touch him. I suppose it wouldn't cost me a lot to find out, would it? Oh, I just take damage, but I get... Ah, you noticeably get knocked back, so... That kind of prevents this whole... Trying to brutalise it by running through him. Uh, I'm not platforming very well. There we go, here we go. Here we go, here's how you play the video game. We go down here, we go down here, and we get get this, and this, and I get this, and then I didn't jump out of there. I should have stayed in the hole, and then I uh, should have stayed in the hole. Number one lesson for life. Wait, not that way. This way, this way, this way. Um, over you. Uh... What's here? Oh, it's my. Is that my dead head? I don't know what that is. Anyways, there's two bonus stars on my right here, so let's go and get him. Oh, no, 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 no. I need. Yeah, I realize now what I needed to do there. Um, red star. World cleared. The spider cavern. Oh, I'm gonna love this because I fucking love spiders, don't I? Um, a back suit. Everything is fine. Don't come. You're you're your friend. Um. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that's the whole game done then. Because why would I go somewhere that my friend says that I don't need to go to? Right. I see you, spiders, and I don't trust a single freaking one of you. I don't. What do the heli turrets do? Do I need to right? You right click. You right click to use them. Hey Rosie. Um. Oh come on. Let me kill the spider nest. Uh, no. No 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 no. Oh my god! I don't want to fight all these splotters. Ah, no, 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 no. Uh, why are there so many spiders at once? Why can't there be like one spider? And then later in the game, there can be two spiders. You can't destroy the nests. You just can't destroy the nests. This is where I need to invest in an item such as a shield, I guess, or something that isn't just a weapon. Oh my god. Yeah, exactly. Spiders. Huh. And I don't I don't understand. I suppose I haven't really looked at where do I need to go? Um I need to fall down that hole on my right, okay. So fall down here. Go get this thing. Uh, tell all the spiders to bugger off. Uh, uh why are they they're all falling on me? I don't like them. I don't like any of them. No, 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 no. Not my friends. Not my friends. Not my friends. Spiders are not my friends. Spiders are not my friends. Run. <laughs> Just clear the level. Just get me out of there. Okay, so I think this is where I probably should have learned how to use a different weapon. Like, A, have a shield. But also B, like, maybe something like the Scorcher would have worked. Trip switch tunnel. Have you visited the uh, Virtue Mart lately? Those stars aren't going to spend themselves. Right, so I can hold right click to bring up a shield, especially if I've got the sword out. There are blocks that are blocking my way and I can step on something that makes the blocks go away. It's a temporary going away of blocks though. 
So I can't use that forever. No, 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 no. I see, I see, I see you. I fucking see you. I goddamn see. Uh, uh, no. No, no, no. I don't, I don't. I've, I've got a shield up. You can't hurt. Ow. Uh, they still hurt me. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> I don't want this. I never asked for this. Right, let's go take my star there. Turrets, please clear this infestation from my... Oh, man. Dan J1B, is that you, Mr. Abacus himself? I'm not, um, I'm not enjoying your use of spiders. Um, and that's not a comment on the mechanic, it's not a comment on the gameplay, it's a statement on my fear of spiders. Um, <laughs> my intense dislike of them as a biological... Ugh, no, no, get out. Ah, go, go, go away. Let that clear. Kill all these. Right. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I need to get the timing right on that. We can get, we can do this. We can do this. Right, kill all these. Kill them, kill them, kill them. That comes up. We can... Oh, car! I thought I was... I was just going to skip the first platform and just get to the second one. Uh, what am I doing? Killing these. Okay, finally, we've moved on. So those are wavy. But if I go down, I'll get a star. So I'm going to do that. Whee! Whee! And... Bang, 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 bang. Whee, give me that. Oh yeah, actually, I should. Oh, uh, I want to time it better. Oh wait, I can just see that. That that works better for me. Whee. All right, I'm I'm not done with this level clearly because I've missed out on loads of optional buttons and areas, but it's fine. We can come back to it when I'm better kitted out. Um. Splattergun, Crescent. I'm going to save up for the Scorcher or the Swarm. Because um, I like buying the most expensive things first, apparently. Incoming tablet transmission. Apcus, leave me alone. I never liked you, you friend. Okay. Yeah, that's a legitimate message from my friend, Tally. Uh, we have light problems now. In... Interesting. Nice, nice. Okay. I deserve that, don't I? For my for my hubris. Uh, this is where I should I just want to test the blocking of Okay, cool. I can totally block that projectile. I got a ding! Oh, it's because you're following. Thank you, Dan. Um I'm sorry that I'm trash at your video game. Um Oh, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Let's let's go up. Come on. Let's go up here. Block that and figure out. Can I damage these? Doesn't look like look like it. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm going somewhere. <laughs> I'm taking a trip. So it looks like the map, the level doesn't seem too big, but it's obviously the, the visibility thing that's going to trip me up. We can pretty much... Oh, okay, I was about to say I can use the hazard to protect me, but there are obviously some angles that I can't... Ah! Oh, ah, Stone Man. You, you bitch. You bitch, Stone Man. You, you... Oh, God, dear, dear. I wanted that star. I got the star. Uh, that's a win. Oh, it is my head. Hello. So, Abacus definitely does die and come back. It's not that I'm... Ooh, hello. Uh, 
Ow. Right, I fell down a hole last time. Does that does that platform go back to solid? No. Ah, I need to figure out what I'm doing wrong there. Right, okay. You can totally, totally do it this time. I'm gonna practically speed run this level now. So there it is solidifying. Ah, there we go. So really, the trick is don't fall down. Um, oh, there's some platforms up here. Let's make use of them for a star. Uh, yeah. Take it nice and slow. Figure out where my... What angles I've got. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 okay. What's that? That's... Hmm, can we... Should we just jump this? Yes. Okay. I, I sure... I thought I could see a little yellow star somewhere here. Uh, no, no. Okay, I imagined it and I just... Damaged. Ruined my progression there. Let's move on. Yeah. That's a level. Uh, we're now going on to... Prey... Prey approaches. Holy shit. Any suggestions as development is still ongoing? I mean, so far, um, so far it's it's pretty tight. It, uh, the momentum feels good. Um, the little detail that your sword actually flies further if you had speed when you threw it. Really cool. Didn't expect the sword to boomerang, but that gives you some nice offensive options with an early weapon. Um, music's really gay. The, the menu music was outstanding. The menu music uh, and the level music is like taking a back seat. Let me focus on the game and I'm cool with that. I'm going to get the swarm next. Prey approaches. Warning. Large entity incoming. Recommendation. Stay alert. Uh, mm, okay. This is going to be one where I think I have to run away from something faster and get through the level faster than it. N I can't quite tell. Gimme. That. Star. Oh, okay. So there's literally... That's not one that turns off and on. That's just one way you should hit it and then make it to the other side as soon as possible. Swarm is just a seems like a very fast projectile. Oh, oh, uh, this is where I should plan with the shield. Button hits that, but I want the one on the left. How do I? Oh, what was that? What was that? What was that? What was that? Hey, hey, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Nope. Go away. I, I see you. Bees. Suffer bees. Oh. Suffer the bees. Ah. Oh, he comes from many angles. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. All right. Let's just go. Let's just go. Can't keep up with me. I'm the Abacchus Bee. The Abacus Bee man. Wait, give me. I want that. Give me that. Mm. Wait, what did right click do? Oh my god, it sends the bees to where you right click. Of course. Ha, ah, fantastic. Cool. Good, good to know. Good to know. All right, let's finish that level and then. Um, I'll come back and be a bit more of a perfectionist later on. Um, so I'm guessing gold border means you got them all. Oh, so which ones did I not get in Blossom Blood? Oh, because I didn't know how to get up there. Let's see if I can cheese it. Because I understand the, the momentum behind this now. Yeah, you can absolutely do that. Come on. No questions asked. We gold yet? We're not gold yet. Still missing some. Um, where are we missing a star? It's not down below. Not there anyway. Hmm. 
Ooh, but I am... I'm definitely missing a star, so... Where... Ah! Of, of course! I'm so foolish to have never gone left at the beginning of the level. Oh man, nice. Um, it looks like I'm not even done here. There's more to the left. Fantastic. Love it. Oh, but of course it was a platform in, that I should not have overshot. Undone by my own... Ooh, that's... I see what you're doing there. So low that you can't really... You can't plan for it. Wait, but can you just make the jump from here? Yeah, okay, silly me. I should have just made the jump from there. Right. Let's call that... Level 1. Wow, wow. I didn't... I don't... I don't have no excuse for that. Whatsoever. Come on. Up. Up. Up we go. Red star. Low, whoa. Yeah, gold border. 100%. Right, I'm not going to 100% the others just yet. Let's get into world 3. The sizzling sounds. Warning. Extreme heat detected. Recommendation. Keep to the long grass. Um, I get you. Long grass. Fine. Wait. What? That's... I was expecting damage over time. What is... I have to know. Ah, okay. So, it's not damage over time, but it is like an internal heat. Um, you know, there is some sort of heat counter going up there. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, man. Not to mention the enemies have suddenly got a lot trickier as well. Right. So. If I want to get those stars on my left, I have to somehow figure out how to get under them. Um... Let's not worry about that just yet, anyways. Let's... Ah, fuck. I thought... I thought that was, um... So, yeah, I would make something clearer to indicate if those blocks are... You know what? You know what I mean? The word where you can fall through them? Transparent? Transparent isn't the word, but, like, solid or not. Um... Because I assumed I was going to fall through that one because it looked darker. Yeah, it's easy when they're side by side, but it was quite hard for me to figure out what was wrong with that. Um, let's carry on. So, yeah, as far as I can tell, I'm just confirming my theory that that is so, at the moment, that is just a straight, solid block. And there's nothing more complex about that interaction. And I need to stop in the grass, silly me. Stop here. Stop here. Ah, interesting. The sword does pretty decent damage still. Right. Ah, okay. So there's a switch on my left. I should probably use that. Does that do it? No, that's still solid. Maybe there's triggers that I'm not aware of, um, and I'm just not interacting with the mechanics. Then again, uh, I'm not going to use... Oof. You're def like, definitely tight timing with that, um, with some of those transitions, but you've left enough time that you can sit in that wall for as long as you have to. Um, I want to see what's above this. Ah, good. Thank God for there being grass and trees above land. I don't feel like I can make that platform on the right fast enough. But... Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah, phew. 
interesting that this this pillar is oh I see because one is a solid and one is like a background got it foreground background uh, oh give me the stars give me the stars give me the nah I was okay with dying so long as, so long as I got the stars but I sort of went to a bit of a panic there uh, what about above here yep so again I'm just gonna uh, risk my life a bit to see how does one go down is that gonna be an item later uh, funny that you you put a sign over here so what does that mean it means there's totally something on the left okay can I get that fast enough or is there gonna be something that lets me do this later I feel like I've got to come back to that because I'm either going to headbutt against something I'm not ready for um, or I'm just going to die repeatedly figuring it out now when I can do that. Not now. Come on, come on, come on. Yep, 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 yep. Let's go get that star. Ooh. Come on. Yep, yeah, and you. Cool. Uh, solid pillars, yep. So, ah, okay, so interestingly, me going up on the left wasn't some cool optional secret that I found. It was most <laughs> it was most definitely the intended path. I feel a lot less impressive, but um, I don't blame you for that whatsoever, Dan. Um, sit down, Dan J1B. Kills me. I didn't even look at what the um. What do you go by, Dan? What's like? Do you have like a a producer name on your Steam? I really should have checked, really, but I just I just dove in knowing the game name. Um, Dan J B. But Dan is fine. Cool. Thank you, Dan. Um, I hope you're well in this sweltering heat. Are you UK based? I'm only guessing because. Uh, David, who recommended I check out your game, is very much UK based. In that case, you'll probably be feeling a lot of this heat as well. Not nearly as bad as last night, but it's pretty debilitating. Haven't been able to go for a... well, I could have gone for a run, but I've purposefully not gone for a run in several days because I'm afraid I'll die. Right, that's that's that level done. Absolutely roasting me. It's like sizzling sands out here. Am I right? Ah, hot take. Haunted Tomb. One new notification. You recently visited Sizzling Sands. How would you rate this location? Oh, lovely. Um, I would love there to be a, a, a way for me to actually give you a one to five stars on that. That would be, you know, it wouldn't do much, but it would be funny. So, we're not using the overheat mechanic now, I see, and I've got up, up, up. So that's you teaching me how to pull switches, I guess. Ah, but I need a certain combination. So, is there something in the environment that tells me what the combination should be? I mean, am I, am I being dumb? Right. So if there's if there's nothing in the environment that tells me what the sequence is supposed to be, I'd add just a little hint. Um, maybe see some engravings in the wall over here, or maybe two of the pillars like have scratches on them or something. Um, it's obviously like there's only so many combinations there that you could brute force it every time. But generally, I'm a big fan of how to put it um, you don't have to make it obvious but letting people uh, use the environment to figure out stuff is is a good one so I press that button and now what lots of things have changed what's that oh teleporters cool nice uh, oh now I'm just flicking around a lot so this switch changes these two that one up there not the one on the floor there 
What does it do to that one up there? It doesn't do anything to that one up there. So let's flip switches. Press this switch, which still doesn't change this one, but it did change... No, it didn't. Hmm, what's it doing? Is it letting me keep this open? Ooh, I need to figure out what the pattern is here now. We've got those changing. Uh, are there directions I'm ignoring? Ah, I'm ignoring the teleporter, so maybe I should be making use of that. Press this, open up the teleporter, run to the teleporter, this is open, fantastic. Uh, can you actually... Can the skeletons take damage? Ah, they can. Good, good, good. Um, for a second there, I had reached an opinion that they were like the stone men. Oh, but they come back. Oh, shit, they come back. Okay, cool. Ah, and now I can go through because the switch is on the left-hand side. That's good. I like that. Um, fantastico. Uh, oh, they're still going to the right-hand. The... Oh, that's not what I meant to do. What? What? Where am I? Oh, wait. I know. This is exactly where I was. I'm just being dumb. Right. Shoot him. Uh, oh, wait. He doesn't stay dead, though, does he? There's no point, really. Right. Wall there. Um, if I can make that block visible, uh, you know, whatever. I can fall down to there. Okay. So let's see what I've got to play with over here. Nice. 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 Yeah, okay, cool. I like that. Right, we've got four switches here. So, I mean, the first thing I'm tempted to do is look around before I just start... Oh, Q&E changes weapon. I've been using mouse wheel. Um, I need to figure out what are all the things I would want to affect before I move on. I want that block up there to become permeable and there's a block below me here and a teleporter on my left so right switch does nothing independently third switch does nothing independently second does nothing independently first does nothing independently so let's do one and two one and three one and three has unlocked bottom right and top one now uh, bottom one's got a ladder, and I'm not locked out of progression if I take it. So let's have a look. Wow. That's a lot for me to deal with. Some of the pillars are broken, some of the pillars are not. I wonder if that's... Can the pillars going up mean anything as well? So you've got a pillar that goes up but doesn't meet a pillar up here. So perhaps I'm reading too much into this. Um, I think let's just go ham uh, and flick them all for now. Uh, oh, it's quite hard to. There we go. Right. Um, now if I go up. Did we use that teleporter earlier? No, we haven't used this teleporter here. So let's figure out if I can... Oh, I just made that skeleton fall down. I don't know if that was intended, but I did it. Um, okay, we've done... Let's do... Two and one. Two and three. Two and four. No, let's do three and four. No. Let's do one, two, and three. Let's do one, two, and four. The levers only have one solution. Ah, okay. So that's definitely worth... Yeah, thank you. That's a very useful piece of information. So let's leave them there now. Now, I never figured out the solution, the levers that you had in the base. But the problem there is it's hard, I think, to have nine levers. I, I'm guessing with the nine levers, it's going to be the broken lever. Hocus pocus. Okay. Yeah. With the shorter ones, brute forcing isn't too bad. Um, with the one in the basement, I guess brute forcing is optional, right? Like, it's going to give me the ability to get loads of stars. But definitely would be cool to have some environmental hints dotted around the map. 
Um, nonetheless, uh, that's, I don't, you know, I don't want to shit on how you did things. You, you had a... Ah, okay, the one in the basement has a clue. So, I think I know, I think I have an idea then of what the, what's going on in the basement, which is... Ah, wait, I have to, I have to make it back there somehow. Okay, right. Let's do this. Um, wait, that doesn't do what I think it did, does it? You press that, you flick this, you go up here, you go in the teleporter, you go up here, double jump, double jump, double jump, uh, go through here, go through here, down here, get you, you don't matter anymore, flick that, on the right, through here, we're over here now, fall down, jump up there, bam, we're over here, bam, 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 back in here, down to the basement. So yeah, um, in that case, yeah, my theory is simply uh, the ones that are complete pillars should be flipped and the ones that are incomplete pillars should not be flipped. Or it's going to be vice versa. Um, let's try my theory so far. So this is down, this is down, this is down, and this is down. And I've left all the broken ones up. Now I'll have to have a look see. God, it's going to be hard, because the moment I jump back out of here, I lose that ability to check. Did we ever... Ah, maybe it opens this teleporter. So actually, maybe there is a way for me to check without running around. Let's assume it does. Okay, let's try broken pillars. Wait, what am I doing? This one down. Uh, this one up, this one down, this one up, I heard something, there we go, yeah, cool, so broken pillars are the solution there, nice, um, I like that a lot, yeah, so just something like that, uh, could go a long way, I think, um, uh, let's do... What am I missing out on? There's something up there to the right. Have I been down here and done this one? Apparently, yes? No? I don't even remember now. Um, what is time? Right, okay. Let's get out of here. Cool. That is the haunted tomb. Um, I've got 34 points. Let's buy Crescent and Splatter Gun. And then we're... Oh, no. Nope. Oh, no, if you press escape, it exits the game. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, I was pressing escape to try and exit the menu and go back to gameplay. Um, that's a common thing. Yeah. Don't. Um, don't allow a player to spam one button and have them result in a negative result. Um, I don't do game design, but this is just one of these things I've heard where it's like you have players who sometimes just spam the A button to press confirm on something. And general good game design is if spamming A would somehow do damage to your progress, make it so spamming A somehow like takes you, uh, says, oh, are you sure? And make the default no so that you don't accidentally do something you didn't mean to do. Um... Yeah, pressing escape to open the menu makes complete sense. I should have just pressed continue. Um, I didn't expect to press escape on the main menu to shut the game. Uh, it was bloody fast though. Like it's that's a very responsive and quick sort of shutdown, um, and it opens up super fast. So uh, we love that. Um, hey Jamie, welcome to uh, me playing Abacus. Um, it says I'm playing Total War. Ah, Abacus, because Twitch doesn't know what Abacus is, um, it wouldn't let me... Ah, okay, I needed to press the X on Category to change that, because um, Ab Twitch doesn't know what Abacus is, so it wouldn't let me, like, put Abacus in the box. Um, thanks for that. Um, yeah. Uh, Abacus, I'm back, at least for now. Keep going, your friend. Tally. Uh, thanks, Tally, um, I guess. Right, that's a vulture. That, that's a Spider-Man villain I don't want to fight. They are tough. Willing to take a lot of damage. Bees! No, 
and the bees. Okay, so. Uh, oh, I like the way that... Ah, so if the bees don't hit a target, they just swarm around the reticle. Yeah, you just have to leave it. Abacus. Um, Abacus is a little indie game uh, made by uh, Dan JB, who is... Um, or at least was a few minutes ago still with us in the chat. Dan, if you're still there, um, feel free to say hi to my boy James the Bunyip Man Willis, who I uh, do a majority of my streaming with. Um, we have a podcast together that we stream here on Twitch called The Bunyip Review. Um, and he streams way more than I do. Um, he is... He is a primary streamer. Yeah, Jamie. So, um, I basically, uh, you know, long story short, a friend of a friend, no, my friend is friends with Dan, um, mentioned this indie game to me today, and I just thought, yep, yeah, I'll take a look. Oh, it's like 33% off or 20% off. It looks like just totally simple and like just quick to sit down and play. Um, didn't need any background information, didn't really need to be sold on it, just thought, yep, I'll just jump in and have a go. And uh, yeah, it's a cute, like, it's a very cute little kind of pixel platformer. You play a robot and you've got to go help your friend. Um, it's, it's a very fast platformer, you know, you can get sort of a good amount of momentum and speed going. Um, you're then able to buy a bunch of different weapons and upgrades and things. Um, and yeah, you move fast, you go through the levels, and you pick up stars, and stars are used to purchase all the upgrades. Um, so, yeah, it's, um, I'm enjoying it so far. I, I just like how quick and easy it is to kind of get through the levels as well. They're very, like, they're succinct. Um, I don't want to use the word short, because, like, they're not short in, the, in a negative sense. They're just, like... The level is there to do something specific in a specific environment and then it's done and you move on to the next level and you don't have to get all the stars you can come back and get stars that you missed which so interestingly can i jump up here yeah okay so we've got i thought it would be the side two because yeah there we go um What's the combination going to be? Let's do one, two, one, three, one, four, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, three, four. Uh, ooh, why am I struggling? There we go, the middle two. So down here we've got some platforms. Ah, nice, nice. Little. They're pacey. Yeah. It's got. Pacey leveling. Um, and the, the weapons are quite fun as well, actually. Uh, um, you start off with nothing, and then eventually you get a sword that acts as a boomerang. Then you can add a shield to that. And then heli turrets. You fire out a bunch of turrets, and then you right-click to fire at things. Uh, they're, they're definitely, like... These are inventive weapons. These are not... You know, these feel very ratchet and clanky, actually, now that I think about it. Um, quite innovative. Um, you don't see a lot of platformers. Uh, come on. Uh, you don't do. You don't see a lot of platformers doing uh, nice, fun little, clever weapons out the gate. Oh, cool! Ratchet and Clank was one of the inspirations. Oh, that's fantastic to hear. I'm, I'm very excited for Ratchet and Clank. The announcement that they did for the PS5. You know, I don't know if I've played every Ratchet and Clank, but I've played a lot of them. Um, that actually, if I get a PS5 at launch, I think one of the first games I'll play is Ratchet and Clank, just because it is such a there is such a reliable amount of fun in those games. You can just trust that they are going to always hit some of those like those those points in your brain that are just like <laughs> I'm having fun, yeah, um, with like fun weapons and fun visuals, and uh, it's cool that they're doing this kind of dimensional portal mechanic which I honestly you know I didn't I didn't do any research after watching the trailer I just saw the trailer and it looked cool um, but yeah no super looking forward to that and uh, I very much like the weapons so that's good advertisement 
Having trouble? Stars weighing you down? Swing by the Virtue Mart today. I didn't go to the Virtue Mart. At the oh, oh my god. Oh, you've made a level that chases me. Oh, ah, ah. I mean, we got... Is that a... Would I call that an enemy? I'd call that a thing. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh. Jeez. Oh, you've really put me on my goddamn toes now, haven't you? No, no. Oh, God. I did not expect there to be, like, a level that was going to be like, right, now run for your life. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, everyone go away. Everyone stop being mean to me. Stop being mean to me. Ooh. Um, this is where I got to use the shield, right? Ah, good to know he can't shoot through the bridge. Ow, 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 ow. Would be, I think, would be cool if the shield made me bounce off the skeleton, but didn't I didn't take um, contact damage. But maybe that's because I want the game to be easier. Um, oh, oh, oh my god. Uh, oh, I'm feeling the pressure, man. I'm feeling the pressure. Um, oh man, it's hard to... Interesting that arrows. Am I being a fool? Oh, I never needed to go to the left and jump. I was just trying to do that for extra stars. Let's just try and complete the level without dying. Um, what? What? Oh no! <laughs> That's me not paying attention to the level. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Okay. Right, I want to, I, oh no, 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 no. I wanted to use both of them, oh no. Uh, no, I, I wanted to jump on the left-hand side there because I thought I had cleverly outmaneuvered the level. Boom, 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 boom. Nice sound design with the shield. Um, uh, am I accidentally flicking a switch when I run past it? I think I am. Ah, there are pillars down here that I need to be making use of. Okay, cool. Uh, am I going to be... I'll just die. I'll just die. I'll just, I'll just guess I'll die. I am that, literally that meme. Ah, okay, cool. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Um, rather interestingly, I'm having to learn to also um, move my mouse to ensure that the Ah, oh, yeah, I, I accidentally press up. I don't accidentally, but I am noticeably pressing up as a response to jump, as a way of jumping. Oh, no, 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 no. I have to kill him. I have to kill that one up top. And if I can, I should kill the one at the bottom, just to get the star. Okay. Oh. Ow. Uh, I just like the fact that, yeah, if the camera overtakes me, I suddenly find that um, I'm accidentally pointing my shield in the wrong direction, which is a uh, fun little little mechanic. Can I... Ah, oh, I wanted to get that star. I haven't tried out the splatter gun. Maybe that would... Oh, did I buy it? Oh, I bought it. Okay, cool. So I've got this gun called Crescent. I can destroy those arrow things as well, so maybe I should actually be more offensive... Right click is sort of a shotgun. Okay, cool. I accept that I'm going to die here. Um, splatter gun. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I'm feeling real prideful over here. Splatter, 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 splatter. Splat, splat, splat. Oh, that's a good gun, that. I like that. Um, right, not going to get my stars this time, but that's okay. Uh, I did not. I missed one of the switches there. Um, I got. I just got to play like either more aggressively or just way smarter. Ah, oh, shooting. I'm. Oh man, why did I have so much trouble with that? I got the two stars that I'm keep fucking up. 
It's it's getting used, I think, to like not realizing that the mouse is not always in the same position relative to my character because of the way that the camera alters that. And that means it's really easy to just make these like just these odd little mistakes with my inputs. Yes, yeah, splatter gun, you come through for me in the air. Oh, ah, I should have jumped over and got the other stuff. That's fine. Let's just clear levels and then I can worry about 100%ing later. Right, we've got the Scorcher. We are now out of stock, but I have stars left over. Shadowlands. Um, <laughs> for a second there, when I saw Shadowlands, I thought of Raid Shadow Legends, the game that is overly advertised and thought your advertisement was going to be like a pun on Raid Shadow Legends. Just just something I thought I'd, I'd throw out there. Having trouble? Stars weighing you down? Swing by the Virtue Mart today? Ah, no, 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 what have I done? I've only gone and picked the same bloody level, haven't I? I've only gone and picked the same bloody level. Why I do that? Um, save and exit? Yeah, okay. Rooftop rumble is what I should be doing. Area broadcast. Don't miss our unforgettable sunsets this time of year. Wow. That's cool. Um, very nice. Very nice artistic change there. Uh, and interestingly, I'm not going to know which pillars I can go through and which pillars I can't. Um, which is interesting, isn't it? I suppose this is a game where one thing you, I think I have to accept early on is part of part of me succeeding requires me to die, right? Like, these aren't levels that I should slowly play and um, I should get right the first time because I had all the information, like you die, you learn, you know, you learn what it is the level is doing, and then you go back and with more information. Um, now, one thing is, can I actually make this double jump? I think not. So, I think, is that the first, is this the first time? Wait, what? Oh, I'm being so dumb. I'm being so dumb. Of course I can make it. Ugh. You know. Um, let me just get some helicopters down there to do that. Okay, so I'm here. But getting that star underneath is... Um, going to haunt me for the rest of my life. So let's try by going here. And then going... Ooh. Man, damn it. Ah, oh, damn it. Damn. Let's go run. Double jump here. Is there something I'm not seeing? Huh. Okay, I'm actually surprised I got that, but I didn't get the star. So let's see if I can cheese it by jumping forward. No, okay. I'm going to try and jump forward and backwards. Can we do it? Yes, yes, we can absolutely do it. Um, don't want those arrows to hit me. I don't want those arrows to hit me. I don't want any arrows. I don't want any arrows to hit me, really. And then once you get good at like getting to those little bonus arrows, arrow areas, you, you basically just learn how to skip small sections of the stage. Why don't you come back up so I can kill you? And then let's go up here. Ah, that's one of those fire spurting things. Um, I think I can ignore that for now. Hey! Hey! You. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Um. Oh, shit. I was going to read your comment and then I'm being shot at. Um, the next update will feature the ability to record and playback replays. I'm hoping to encourage speedrunning. This is definitely a speedrunning friendly game. Um, you know, there, there's definitely this element of... I've done this a hundred times. Let's just see if I can run through it without taking any damage. To like... Oh man, that is a bit brutal. I think... At, at, when, I, when I'm... With the bits I'm starting to die out now... I would love to have some form of checkpointing 
because um, it feels, I suppose it actually, maybe I'm just being a bit like over the top actually, because now that I think about it, the amount of time it takes me to get from here to here, if I don't give a shit, is nothing. Um, I think those arrow turrets maybe have a bit of a longer range than I would expect them to have as well. That one, this one on my left now, I think it shoots at me for, like, I just want to see if it shoots at me from here. Yeah, so I would say that from this range, I wouldn't want something behind me to continue attacking me. Um, because it would make this particularly difficult. But then again, it's not... Ha, huh, okay, I like that. Um, but then again, it's just one of those things as well where it's like, if I know that that's the behavior of the enemy, I'm just going to play differently to adapt that. Um, maybe if you've got like a targeting reticule on your body or something that showed that they were still aiming at you. Um, what am I doing wrong about getting up there? Should I have gone from that pillar on the left and gone for a big double jump? And is it too late for me to try? I think, yeah, I think the answer is yes on that. Yeah, I don't think I can do it. Right, uh, let's get rid of you real quick. And then I need the sword. Right, um, what else can I be needing to... Oh, okay. I, I want to go down there, but... Uh, there's no camera drop, which indicates to me that that might not be a good idea. Um, okay, World 4, entryway, incoming transmission. Abacus, you're getting really close now. Don't give up. Your friend, Tally. Thanks, Tally. I'm feeling very encouraged by Tally, despite the fact that Tally is apparently the one in danger and needs saving. Um, okay, okay, let's, let's play. You die. I press this. That goes there. I go get this star. I use double jump and fuck up. I also want to figure out... Oh. Uh, maybe I can get to the top of this castle. Yeah, it looks like I can. Oh, that's an enemy. Ooh, what a clever boy. He uses a sword and shield just like me. Okay. No, thank you. Please leave. Okay, I want to go up. Um, yeah, all the levers have one solution. You told me this, so I'm not going to... Is there something I can be doing to get up there more than I already am? Let's assume that actually... Yeah, okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Right. Um, I see it, I see it. I understand it. I'm doing the Sherlock brain thing. Yes. Yes. Nice. Um, I like how his legs actually kind of... I really, I, I know it's like probably not an intended feature, but I actually do like the way his legs still run in midair. Um, it's it's a nice, cute little uh, kind of detail about him. Um. Um, I thought there would be something down there. Otherwise, why would there be stairs leading up here? Right, okay. Um. Am I missing a button somewhere? Ah, okay. Levers. Ah, uh, okay. Let's get my sword and shield out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Three stars. Should I have tried to have jumped on top of that roof as well? I feel like it doesn't hurt for me to try. Yeah, there we go. 
That feels, this feels like a 100% run of this level. Yes, nice, okay. Uh, dungeon crawl, anything new in the shop? No. Dungeon crawl. Advertisement, come to my Virtue Mart today. Come to the Virtue Mart today, come to the Virtue Mart today, come to the Virtue Mart today, come to the Virtue Mart today. Bye bye, Jamie. Um, have a nice week, and um, and yeah, I look forward to you streaming more Sunless Skies. And if you play this, um, you know, I'm sure get in contact with Dan, and I'm sure Dan can check out your stream as well. Maybe I'm not going to put words in your mouth, Dan. Who am I? Your mouth? No, I'm not your mouth. Jonah, stop talking. Um, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. No, 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 spiders, spiders, fuck off spiders, fuck off spiders. Ah! <laughs> I don't want to do spiders. Ah. Scorcher, yeah! This is the anti-spitter weapon. Yeah, take this, spitters. I want to be able to kill the nest with the scorcher, but I guess that's not an option. <laughs> Right, what am I doing? Uh, platform up there, platform up there, levers over there. Go down here, jump up there, button. What will the button do? Maybe the button will open that. Fire can kill spider nests. Ah, I just wasn't shooting at it from the right angle then. Oh god, oh god, oh god, I should have seen that coming. <laughs> Why am I so dumb? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, I just, I gotta plan this out better. Ah, I want those spider nests dead. I want to kill every spider nest in this game. I want you to make one achievement in this game, and it's and it's me killing and it's killing all the spider nests. Yes, nice. Um, I think that one is a soft lock. Um, I'm just ah, uh, e jeesh, you know, spiders, man, jeesh. Yeah, interesting. I don't think you've introduced one of these yet. So this is my first one. So stepping on the lock doesn't do much. So let me just understand now if anything else, any of my weapons or anything can trigger the switch. So am I supposed to use the spiders? That's terrifying. Yeah, that is absolutely terrifying. Um, but I, I, I see, I see what you're doing. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, I can do that. Cool. Right. And what did pressing that switch give me then? Or ah, okay, no, no, no. I, I think I get it. I think I know what's gonna happen. Um, they are now opening that. I realize I've got a mouse. Um, they are now opening that one every time they run over it. Ah, but they're also letting... I suppose... Ah, you only need one spider in there. You just need him to run left a bit more. Yeah, he needs to run left a little bit more often. Um, that's my problem, not yours. Um, let's carry on with the level and not fall down this hole. Trying to cheese this jump. Oh, wait, I forgot. My instinct is to move away from the spiders and kite them uh, without remembering that I'm going to fall to my death. Right, so I need him to go back and press that. Smash that like and subscribe button. Come on, smash that button. Yes, yes. Yes, do more. Do more of that. More of that, please. 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 Oh, come on. Come on. A few more seconds. A few more seconds of bliss. Right. I know what to do. I know what to do about that. We're going to drag that spider over to the left by going above him. And we're going to drag all the other spiders over to the... Yeah. Great. 
Oh, now I need the skeleton to... Great. And now... There should be loads of spiders in there. So there should be... Yes. Ha 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 ha! We know how to play video games. Right. Um, when it comes to the button combinations, I always go for the left and right one. But here we got three and one are the options. The right answer. No, no, no. I didn't. I didn't plan for this. I didn't plan for this. I didn't plan for this. I didn't. I, I, no. I. I. I didn't. <laughs> oh, I didn't see it coming. And I wasn't. <laughs> I was unconfident about changing weapon to the swarmer while being um, just straight up fucked by spiders. Okay, well the good thing is I don't need to do the little um, optional slot on the right now for the stars so I can just move on with the level. Wait. Oh man, I'm doing it wrong. There we go. Ah, wait, 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 uh, uh, swarm, you'll have to do, but I need to get the Scorcher out, uh, where are you, Scorcher, there you are, yeah, take that, spiderinos, right, fire on top, flicking blocks above me, and a block that when it disappears, I'm gonna get hammered with arrows, Okay, yeah, we kind of got it. Nice. Right. So what what were these doing? Holding that down. Holding this down. Holding this down. Not too much going on there. So let's see if I can get this jump right. Nice. Oh, and like a little skip of the level there. Oh, wait. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, he is on, he's like on a hydro pump thing. Interesting. Ah, okay, so that's turning on blocks for me to platform on. Let's, um, let's get rid of these boys with my heli turrets. So just pressing that, I press that switch, that goes on, that goes on, they both go off. That's my timing window. This goes on, this goes on. This goes on, presumably. I flip that switch. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, cool. We're doing stuff. We're definitely doing stuff. But I feel like I've jumped past a few things. Um, but I'm hesitant to... Okay, so that's... Okay, so optional will be those two stars on my top. Uh, definitely need one of those look down buttons that I sort of remember from Sonic but that's okay that was fine um, I just oh, I really wanted to look below me there that was all okay cool ah but there was still a gate above me up there that was locked and I don't know come on jump yeah okay and I don't know why A uh, different combination of switches, maybe? Yes. It is a different combination of switches. Right. I can probably jump up there from that middle platform on the right over here. So let's try that. Ah, fuck that up. I reckon. Oh. In that case, I'm going to try it from the the right hand platform. Nice, 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 nice. I'm so proud of myself. And now I'm less proud of myself for whiffing that jump, but it's not a problem. 
Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, I don't remember which switch. There we go. Yeah, boy! Library of Nelemwa. Nelemwa. Um, Abascus. I forgot to say. Whatever you do, don't. Okay, yeah. Uh, sure, I won't. Why would I? Why would I? Why would I do the thing? Why would I do a bad thing? I would never do a bad thing. Um, okay, so. Teleport is right above me, but need to unlock the way through. So. We've got a number of different directions to go in here. This feels very, um. Ah, uh, how to put it? The environment is very rogue legacy. Um, the. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa! What did you do? What happened? What? Why? What? Whoa. <laughs> that was so scary. Ah, oh, wow. Okay, kill the bird. Um, I was so terrified by that noise. Uh, ah, and this is one of those little... You've done that thing where some of the boxes you can... I mean, I don't know if it's intentional, but I can walk through this box. But I feel like that's something that's going to play into a secret later if it is intentional. Um, like like having like hidden textures in your game. Um, very. Can't think of an example for what game does that right now. No, 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 no. I don't want the birds. I don't want the birds. I should use something other than the sword to kill the birds. Really. That'll do. Excellent. Getting that star means I'm going to act. I'm going to fuck up and have to do all this over again because I'm going to fuck up this. I think. Oh no, no, we, we them jump boys. Now there's something shooting below me. Let's get my shield out and just get ready to block. Whatever. Okay, nice. So where are we? We're back where the woo woo boys were. Um, is this going to be a dead... Yeah, that's going to be a dead splat. I hope the dead splat doesn't reset... Resets the switches. Ah! I gotta do the platform all over again. Ooh, you fucking assholes. Oh, you're so clever. You think you're so fucking smart with your woo. Yeah, well fucking show you 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 war boys yeah I'm the real <laughs> I thought having the shield out would save me they are surprisingly fast um impressively fast for a bunch of wimps in robes and I like that you've triggered them to kind of activate. Yeah. Ah, the thing that makes them so dangerous is the multiple projectiles. Like, yeah, the fact that they fire on you like 10 times a second is real. Oh, that's something you don't want to fuck up, you know? Right. Swarm. Swarm the birdies. Man, I was about to I was just about to say like ooh, I need to be very careful that I don't die because I'll have to do all those switches again, but God to think I would be to to think that I would be like fearful in a way that I'm now having to constantly 
block behind me in this kind of weird way. I thought I was going to turn the mouse faster than that, and then I didn't. Uh, I am on so little health. That, that's what I would do is I would put some healing items here or at every switch. So that way, if I fucked up getting to one switch, healing at, when I get to the switch, I can heal and kind of have like a health reset. Um, but again, this is me telling you how to make the game easier for me, um, which uh, that isn't real feedback at all. That's that's me telling you to make my life easier. Um, ah, that's an interesting little thing you've done there. Okay. Oh man, I don't feel good about this. I can't believe you baited me like that. I can't believe you've done this to me personally, Dan. I just, I feel targeted by that particular attack. Yeah, it, it's either health packs at the switches or, in this level in particular, dying does not reset the switches. Like, not the level important switches, anyway. Um, doing all four in one life... I mean, obviously it's doable because I'm going to do it eventually. Um, but it definitely feels like a test... Um, how to put it? You add to plan multiple difficulty levels. Right now I'm playing on super hard. Um, yeah, like I say, everything I'm saying, I'm I'm literally just asking you to make this game easier for me and really not giving you, like, you know, doesn't matter what your creative vision is, doesn't matter what you intended for the game to be like, um, please, please do these things so that I find the game easier. That's, <laughs> that's the gist of it. Um... What did we have on the... Ooh, no, 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 no. You fucking war boys. Um, is that sound... Is that a digital a digital sound that you got from, like, a library? Or <laughs> have you managed to somehow create that sound using uh, microphone techniques? I'd be fascinated to hear if you hired a voice actor and you gave him a script. And the script was just the word, like whoa but you have to make him say whoa like 10 times with breathiness um i i do quite a lot of no i don't do quite a lot of um it was my own voice with a few applied effects yeah i do some voice acting so like i've done some audio books and um like just some little projects here and there and i just i do love the idea of being sent a script it's just whoa um, because I've met voice actors who have done, like, literally just the voice of a zombie, um, you know, just literally doing zombie grunts, and it just sounds, like, quite funny to, to, for that to be your entire script, basically. Um, right. So on the right here was where you baited me with a chandelier to my death, so I'm not going in on that yet. On the left over there, I died because I'm an idiot. I can fall down there if I fuck up, which means, ah, oh, something's totally going to happen here that's going to make me run. I knew it. I, I fucking knew it. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, you bitch. Nope. Come on. Uh, 
Okay. He didn't include the teleport here, so I know that this isn't how I... Okay, 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 okay. I now know this level. I know this level 100%. I'm not going to make any mistakes. I'm going to 100% this. Uh, no, no lives lost. No damage taken. This is it. This is the play, lads. This, <laughs> this is the one. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh man. And and I can't imagine what it's like for you to to know exactly what is coming and to know you can see me i'm sure milliseconds before it happens making the wrong move is the nest immune to fire is that a thing or is that the fire just doesn't do much damage so i didn't feel it now what have we got below we've got like an arrow thing haven't we Okay, that arrow thing hit me in midair, so I took damage, but it doesn't count um, because I know this game inside out, and uh, no mistakes are ever going to be made. No woo boys over here. Hmm, okay. Woo. Woo. Oh wait, there isn't a woo there. It's just this. Oh. Okay, so you know that that no damage thing. Um, I'm sorry, I'm not. Uh, I'm sorry I'm not living up to that no damage thing, but honestly, I still think I'm doing uh, a lot better than anyone ever anticipated of me. So, uh, that's nice. Okay. Right. What was it? The, uh, the fire... What is it called? Splatter? Scorcher. Scorcher doesn't do very much damage, therefore it was taking a long time to kill the nest at that range. Got it. Um, cool, 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 cool. Right, let's... I need to sword and shield. And I need to... Right, this is totally optional. I know that. Um, so we won't get into that just yet. One more block. And I need to remember what you're going to do to me at certain points in this level. Okay. Right, so. For a second there, I convinced myself that he wasn't, he didn't exist on the first jump and was about to run through completely, like, without doing anything. Right. I know... I know it's going to happen. Yeah. Have we done it? We can go get the red star. Um, part of me wants to really challenge myself and go get the optional stuff on the right now. But I think in, in the name of progression and me actually playing this game, I won't do that. Um, we'll just move on to the next level. Right, uh, tumble down towers. Incoming transmission, Abacus. Sorry I got cut off, cut off. Whatever you do, don't go through the library. Your friend, Tally. Well, Tally, it's a bit fucking late for that advice, isn't it? Smash glass, get result. Got it. Uh, very good way to introduce that mechanic to someone. Ha um, <laughs> That is very clever. Um, I wonder, does that do something below me? No. Silly me. Oh, silly me. Yeah, I destroyed that last time, didn't I? And that does that. What is... Oh, that's the egg thrower, isn't it? Am I supposed to be able to get up there? I don't see myself making a double jump up there. So let's assume I'm meant to come from the right-hand side. Or I'm indeed meant to teleport. Um, There was a nest 
nests on a platform down here, but yeah, nothing I can do to take advantage of that. Something up there. Have I got anything that damages through those blocks? No. Okay, cool. So we know that that's not something I should be taking into account. Oh, oh, I thought I still had the heli things out, so I was holding right click. Oh, wait, that puts me at risk now, doesn't it? Okay. I guess I really didn't really didn't need to run and jump at that, did I? Nice. <laughs> this is a bit of an awkward curving angle, but uh, we can we can totally do it. Let's get all my bees to go over there, and oh, it's dead, right? <laughs> and then I was gonna make them all go over here, which I think again, it's it's this is a weapon that actually has like a really surprising amount of. Uh, versatility in the fact that you can you can always slingshot them you know and like get them to go into angles that you may never have been able to do before which is very cool like if I make them all go above him over here and then I right click on his body like yeah they just dive bomb him and I think that is that is a super cool way to use that weapon. Um, what other ways, what other things am I missing out on here? Oh, I did not want to run through that in case it was a no going back sort of thing. Right, run down, smash that, or die. In fact, let's, let's be smart here. Let's do that. And then do that, and then confirm that that's solid before I do this. Yeah. Um, that was the tumble down towers. We got wing it. How many? Um, am I allowed to see how many worlds? Is this the final level, Dan? Because if it is, I'm, I'm definitely just going to play through. Yeah, in that case, I'll definitely just play through to that level now then, um, rather than giving myself a break. Warning! D -d -d dragon Recommendation! Let's get out of here. Okay. Uh, honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna... Let, let's just see what, what the rules are here. There is a dragon flying. It does fire damage to me. Uh, am I... Am I able to kill it? I don't, I'm guessing not. I'm guessing the whole point is to have a dangerous environmental thing. I'm just testing the rules a bit. Okay, cool. He leaves fire, the fire does damage on the surface, but interestingly, I sweep it away. That's lovely. Uh, smart solution there at the end. Yeah, it's just one of those things where if I can guarantee my safety, I absolutely will. You know, I want to see the block turn solid. And you gave me a ladder that lets me scout out the the location beforehand. And also, like, the helicopters are a way to fire at things that you don't have line of sight of. So, yeah, it, I, I just think, again, it's one of those weapons that it, it does a lot more than its damage. Um, interesting. So you give me little cubby holes to hide from the dragon. Now we've got smashy boy down there, button over there, so I get the sense I'm going to have to go right, do some activating, come back this way. Fire does disappear over time, but um, not quickly. What's that? Is that you firing at me? Yeah, it is. Fine. Okay. Um, when he fires at me, I'm going to want my shield. Oh, no. Okay. That's fine. 
I just want to check. Am I not? Am I being silly about this stuff over here on the? Okay. Yeah. I think I am just being silly for now. Let's. Oh. It's funny. The, the way that that roof is angled, it's so easy just to overshoot yourself and fall down the bridge. Right, let's do a straight run to the right and see what happens if I do this kind of run. Do we reach the end of the level? No. So, Red Star is in there. So, it looks like it's possible to get a very quick escape, but there are definitely a lot of um, level quirks that I'm missing out on if I do that. Or am I going to have to run all the way left and all the way right? Ow, that was silly of me. Alright, I need a bit of a longer range when it comes to that. So let's just swarm these arrows out. Oh, silly me. Yeah, having the dragon is a very good way to add a level of urgency. Um, similar to the camera panning to all my actions. Because this is a very fast game. Um, oh my god. Um, a weapon wheel. I I would benefit from knowing how to get to the sword and, sword and shield quickly. That, or maybe just map the sword and shield to a single button. Like the way that weapons, like, like the way that your pistol with unlimited ammo is always mapped to one. Oh, are they mapped to different... I'm learning so much today. I'm learning so much. Yeah, okay, cool. So I can slap one to drop to the sword and shield, which is good because I want to be able to um, now play a little bit more loosey-goosey uh, with blocking quickly. So sort of that was a bad example because I took the hits. Oh, man. I should probably be paying attention to his timing because there must be... There's something... Oh, man. Um, there's something there. Like, he, he definitely has a sense of timing to his fire. Ow, 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 ow. Right. That was just bad. That was just bad for me. I'm not proud of myself. Right. Um, I really don't need to kill the one down there. I need to kill this one. Right, now let's get a hold on what's going on next. Dragon above me does some fire. Why did I fuck up that jump? Why did I fuck up that jump? Um, I don't know if you've played Celeste, Dan, but one thing I'd be really... Um, one thing I loved about learning about the development of Celeste is something that platformers called Coyote Time. Um, and Coyote Time is this sort of mechanic that says if you leave a platform but jump maybe like within a few frames of you it has coyote time okay cool so that's obviously me just actually yeah you're right it absolutely i can't tell if it's my double jump but wait oh my god what did i just break what did that just do um yeah, I, I, because I see myself running off of platforms, and then I still want to utilize both jumps. But what actually happens is I'm running off of a platform, and then I'm missing the first jump because I'm a piece of shit platformer. And then the second jump kicks in, and then I'm like, ah, shit, I only had one jump. Um, but it was really fascinating to learn that Celeste has this mechanic that saves you from that. I mean, you know, how to put it, you, you, you said it yourself, like, this, this is the game as you, as you envision it at its hardest. Um, so the idea that I didn't think the shield would be this good at blocking the fire. That's really good. That's lovely. Um, I need to get there somehow. Right, I broke a crystal earlier. That must have done something on the left-hand side of the map. So let's go do that again. Ah, ah, okay. Uh, I didn't take this into account. Oh my god. 
Um, absolutely have to kill both those arrow things because they both get you in that room. Smart, clever, I like it. Very good positioning of enemies. Um, I took them to be a... I didn't think that they were a threat early level. And then later, they reveal themselves to be a threat in the way that the map unveils itself. I like it a lot. I like it. I like it. I like it. Ha oh, man, that was just that was just a poor jump. I took that right in the face, didn't I? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm taking a lot of damage that I don't want to be taking. Oh, dear. And uh, that's that's very good there. When we had that temple level, I think there are a few blocks where... Actually, I think it was just the ones with the pillars, but you gave a visual indication for that, so that's good. But giving me a visual indication that I've got the right combination here, despite the fact that the effect will be elsewhere, um, is very helpful. Especially because um, I know I can hear the block change, but... You kind of have to assume that um, not all players can use audio to their advantage. Um, what with hard of hearing and deaf and all that. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of this channel. Um, I know, I already know that David's a big fan, but shit, 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 I was on the... I thought there was another tower for some reason. I thought, I thought... The tower I want is further to my right. Ah, oh, man. It is so incredible how... How, like, I'm just overlooking things that I have interacted with a hundred times. But because of, like, the speed of the game, I just... Com wow. Um, I just completely ignore certain things sometimes. And I'm just like, ah, game fast, fine. No problem. Let's block some stuff. Out. Ah, oh, no, no, no. Because I'm pushing out to see the arrow thing. But I don't actually need to see the arrow thing to get the kills I want there. Uh, I should have pressed number one for sword. But... I feel like I should be much better at that, but I'm not. Ah. Uh. I can't believe, I can't believe literally before starting this level, I was like, oh yeah, 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 I'm just going to stream to the end of the game, no problem. And <laughs> now you're just watching me like completely fail. Um, oh man, both of those angles are really mean. Dragon from above, arrows from front. Oh. Right. But what I should be doing is skipping that arrow thing there. Break this. Oh, fuck's sake. For fuck's sake, laddie. Come on. Come on. Dragon, go away. Go, go higher. Go above me. Ow, why, why am I taking damage? Oh, it's because the fire does... Right. Don't know where your dragon's gone. But let's carry on. 
Ooh, Dan, I think we found an interesting glitch. Your dragon went below me. And in doing so, I think dragon's dead. I think the dragon threw itself off the map. Um, which, yeah, uh, I'm okay with that, you know? Um, <laughs> this means I can take this level at a slightly calmer um, sort of approach. Can't tell if I just saw the dragon down there or something else, but anyways, this is the tower that I keep fucking up on. Now the problem is, actually, let me jump down here so I can see, ah, there it is. Wow, we did it. Huh. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry that wasn't perhaps the genuine win that I should have got, but, um, uh, you know. I like to think that I outsmarted the dragon, really. Abacus, go home, little robot. This does not concern you. Um, I mean, sentences like that only make me more likely to take part. Um, I'm really enjoying the fact that uh, we're on World 5 and you're showing me new mechanics as well because I see a black orb over there that I've never seen before and a new enemy, which... It might behave a lot like the red birds, but there may be something more to it that I don't understand. Um, we we saw a crystal thing above me. Some of those bees are moving very slowly. Um, uh, oh, okay. Uh, ah. I feel like I, I really want this door to do something, but uh, I am probably reading into your environments a bit too much at the moment. Right. Black orb up there. So does shooting it do anything? What is um, heli turrets? I destroyed it. Interesting. So it was definitely doing... Whoa. What was that? What was that? Ah, okay, yeah, so you've definitely put some platforms below me. So it, it shot like a bomb at me or something? Oh! Oh, they're like homing bomb things. Okay, cool. Oh, no, go away, Crow. Go away, go away. Crow, <laughs> go away. It's hard enough to deal with... Is the platform... I'm having this weird visual thing where I think the platform is sinking. But it's not that the platform is sinking. It's like... Is it something to do with the snow effect? Ah, oh, man. Um, I'm just getting this visual trick where it feels like this platform is actually going down while I'm on it. And it's kind of just making me trip the fuck out. <laughs> But again, that's a me problem, not a you problem. Um, let's take the underpath and see what I can... Um, I'm a very big fan that I can use... I really like that I can use these turrets while I'm uh, held onto a ladder. That's nice. Jumping, jumping. Nice. Jumping, jumping. Nice. Very well done. Let's, um... Right, let's plan for that. Ah, okay. Scorcher is not good enough to kill those bombs before they hit me. Uh, go away, core core man. Um, where are we? Five, six, six. Wait, but I want the Scorcher for when I do that jump. Shit. Uh, I can probably heli turret most of them to death um, ahead, can't I?
Ooh. So what are they? Ah, I'm hearing. So that. I thought that noise was like a recognition that they were hitting an enemy. Turns out they're just hitting the environment. Oh. 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 So you can totally duke them, but they come back for you. Okay, cool. Right, so we're gonna go here. Okay. And then I just fuck up the jump. Um. I can never figure out where that one's coming from. Um, I would say about these bombs, they blend into this particular level's background quite easily. That might be intentional because of, you know, the colour of the rocks and the colour of the bombs. If it's not intentional, um, maybe a little bit of an outline, maybe a little bit of a, like they have like a red light or something when they found you, and a blue light when they're um, not attacking you or something. But otherwise, if you want them to be stealthy because they're meant to surprise the player, then that's exactly what they are doing. So don't worry about that. I mean, some of them stick out because they're on a, you know, a clear um, sky background. Um, so... Yes, 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 yes. Give me my bonus stars. Thank you. Okay. Interesting that there's a platform there as well, so I'm going to be able to drop down and do something there. But I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything from here. Uh, I should probably just concede to death. Ah, there's something on the right-hand side there. That's good to know. Uh, I can't remember if there was anything more to that. Um, this interaction... Uh, I should go up. I can't remember if I did everything on the left. Yes! Um, let's head back up if possible. Or, I mean, this is one way of heading back up, I suppose. Is, uh, death! I'm hoping I killed that bomb below me. It didn't come up and get me, so I guess so. Blah! Right, okay. Um, the snow effect is very pleasant on this level, I must say. I really do... I like it. Like, it's simple. It's really simple, but it's effective. It's just a very pleasant uh, environment. Or perhaps you're going to tell me it's not simple, and actually it was the most complex part of the programming this entire fucking game, and how dare I call it simple, you fucking, you fucking platformer weave noob. Um... Although I get the sense you're very nice and you won't say that. Uh, nice moon as well. Nice big... Moon? Or is it like a winter sun? Hmm. Um, it is very big. It makes me feel like it's actually something I can touch. Like, it's it's part of the platforming. Um, but I see that's not the case. Can I jump up there? Yes. What does this do for me? I don't know. Crows keep... Why do crows keep coming after me? I haven't done anything to the crows that I know about. Right, let's cautiously poke my head over here. Right, I was getting ready to double jump because I didn't actually know that there was going to be a floor here. But there is. Okay, so. Lots of bombs, lots of bombs. Ah, so the bombs have a sort of... um. They're spinning. I don't think I've been able to notice that on any of the other environments as of yet. So this is where I wonder if I can use the coolness of a swarm to my advantage. 
<laughs> um, ah, nice attempt, I suppose. What I'll do is, if I put a bunch of bees... If I put a bunch of bees somewhere... And have them all defend that area... I can lure out the bomb, and the bees might hit it? Oh, I don't actually know what happened there. Well, the bomb, the bomb flew off. So I'm going to take that as a win. Right, right, right. No, that was dumb. That was really dumb. That was really, really dumb. That was really quite dumb. I should not have done that. The other thing as well is... I know... I don't think you're going to put them, like... In conflicting levels. But... I realised I was low on health. I looked in this room and thought... If I run in this room... One of those... Whoa... Men could actually appear behind me and just kill me in one hit. So... Having those enemies appear early on has now kind of infilled me... With an existential level of... Fear that you might bring them back and I won't have any way I won't have any way to protect myself or oh I've just clicked off the game because obviously I've got the ability for my mouse to go off the screen right that's the level end there but I know there's more stuff below me naturally I'm going to be pissed if I fuck up anything relating to this Oh man. Oh man. Didn't even get the stars, did I? Uh, interesting that the bombs kill everything. I should use... For this strategy, I should absolutely use Swarm. I'm going to let myself die because um, I just want to try a bit of a... A parkour exercise. I jumped over that last time without any issue. Uh, I didn't mean swarm, did I? I absolutely meant scorcher. I want to be able to fucking fast screech, fast run, speed, speed, bullet, this shit. Alright, this is not going to go well for me. Ah, oh, I didn't think that one was going to come out of the tunnel and get me. Oh, man. Like, I'm making good time, but I don't actually think I'm doing... Like, how to put it, I don't think I can actually complete the game like this. What is, what is the best strategy for just going ham? I feel like, I mean the strategy probably is to stop going ham and to kill the things that I know are going to attack me before they attack me. Um, Crescent is a good shout. I've not actually used the Crescent to be honest. Um, not like, properly. It definitely, yeah, like the high, the high fire rate definitely makes it a good way to clear out. Shit, 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 shit. Okay, I landed somewhere. I'm fine. Uh, the sound of them hitting the wall is very satisfying. This. Good. 
Right, kill that bomb, all right. Why are there so many crows? Right, so I know that there's... I'm going to go on that platform on the left because obviously I meant to use that as a way to preempt the danger bomb. Ah, but then... Oh, fuck's sake. Um, now... Oh, dear. Uh, uh, crow, die. Now, I can't see on my right at all. Which means I... I don't have a good way of knowing if I can kill that bomb. Can I stop the bomb with a shield? I feel like the answer is no. It's so ah, it's so much further down below than I thought it was. Well, I just had enough health to tank that, didn't I? Now, is it actually possible for me to get up there from here? Hmm. Yes. That was a real stretch of platforming. Okay, I'm hoping I gold. Yes, I did get gold on that. Good. Because Lord knows I put myself through quite a bit there. Forbidden pass. Advertisement. Abacus. Can you hear me? Oh, that's an unusual advertisement. I guess I'm the right demographic. Um. Oh, what's that? What's this? Oh, we got some ice wizards. Uh, best way to deal with an ice wizard is to never let them have line of sight of you. Oh my god! And they do a death explosion. How? Ooh, 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 ooh. Ow! 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 Oh dear! Oh dear! Um, this is perhaps a bit more than my brain was willing to handle early on, <laughs> if I'm honest. Right, get behind cover and deal with them. That's kind of the strategy. Learn what they do and don't have cover for. Oh, come on, I totally blocked that. Hit my foot. I honestly didn't think it would follow me down the ladder in a straight line. I thought it would kind of overshoot and hit the wall. Um... Let's carry on, shall we? Heli turrets. Bang, 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 bang. Wizard go bye-bye. And then wizard on the right. Get in here. Heli turrets. No, heli turrets more like over there. Wizard go bye-bye. Ow, I should have learnt my goddamn lesson, but I didn't. That's a hole. Uh, can you guys fire on him from there? Yeah. Does the big boom. I run. I hide. Big bang. Off I go then. Uh, this is where I was going to block this arrow thing. And it always gets me in the foot there. Right. Um, clearly... I should just have dealt with that bomb before it could deal with me. Interesting that you put a tunnel there, like it's got a... It's like it's meant for something. But I don't know what. Uh, star down there. I definitely want a way to look down right now. I want to see what's... Ah, okay. I, I know what I'm going to do is... I'm just going to reveal... Okay, I can't see much more than that star. Just wondering if the intention is for me to fall... And try and use a double jump to get there? Or if there's going to be something on the right-hand side? One way to find out. Nothing on the right-hand side. I learnt my lesson. Boom. Get over here. Slap that wizard.
Bam, boom, kill this. Do that, kill you. Bye bye, Wiz. Wiz King of the Dead Boys. Am I able to? No, I wasn't able to get up there. Okay, fine. So, I'm going to ignore that star for now because I think I'm going to um, bash my head against a wall trying to get a good double jump. Or, you know. Trying. I, I think I won't platform it well, is sort of my, my fear. What's going on? Oh, no, 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 no. Bad, bad, bad. Bad wizard. Bad wizard. Interesting that I didn't notice him when I came in here before. Like, I don't think he teleported in. It's not like he was hiding, but... What's that noise? Uh, on this on this case, I'm very glad I could see him all the way down here. Very good. Oh, ow. Yes, I forgot. That's how your things work. Looks like you can... Are you able to destroy those projectiles? It looked like I managed to destroy one in midair, so... Yeah, not willing to face him head on. Oof, man, I thought I fucked that up forever. Right. Okay. On with the show. Now I can go up there and to the right, but there's a star down there. That looks like it won't actually be difficult for me to get. Um. Oh, Dan, am I going to have to jump to the right? I think I'm going to have to jump to the right. Oh, phew. That wasn't nearly as... I thought that was going to be uh, far more of a challenge than it actually was. Um, sorry, I'm just bringing up my Streamlabs because uh, I accidentally left clicked on something else. Yeah, it is one of those things where you have to take leaps of faith. Um, and <laughs> this game goes wildly from like, yeah, you can do this. Don't worry. Trust me. This is a good leap of faith to trapping you or, or ambushing you with four whoa, men uh, when you least expect it or getting one to appear behind you when you didn't have him the, uh, you know um it it, it flip-flops between like holding your hand and being your friend to stabbing you in the back and being your worst enemy but in a very fun way um it definitely has kept me on my little toesies there's one star we're missing in this one and it's that one at the bottom near on the left hand side to me now i'm not gonna get it because um i think it's gonna require me to fall down and then go left and try and double jump my way into that cubby hole and i think i'd fuck that up abacus it's me please come to the virtue mart for all your weaponry needs abacus what kind of advertisement is this Abacus, it's me, please. Come to the Virtue Mart for all your weaponry needs. Like, that is a desperate plea for my business. Right, you've brought back Stone Boy. And you've put him right in front of me. And so far, I don't know why you've done that. Are you reminding me that he exists? Are you... <laughs> you're showing me a variant so you're reminding me you're reminding me how nice they were to deal with earlier is it being recorded so twitch will allow me um twitch will save this all as a video on demand then i want to upload this stream onto steam but steam only accepts youtube uploads so what i may do is upload this entire playthrough on you YouTube yes I will take the video on demand put it on YouTube and then put it on your Steam community page just so that there's something there um, if I don't do the whole stream I'll just find me I'll, I'll find me doing the library I think I think that will probably be 
the level the the clip that has the most hilarity and community engagement to it uh because i die um <laughs> this is gold thank you um i am just doing my best fuck 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 no no oh this level this level goes so much deeper than i thought it would um okay so you've got bombs you've got fast walking um you've got fast walking roboty men you've still got ice wizards which i really don't want to have to deal with yeah like come on i don't nobody wants to deal with that right there i notice you're making me pull a lot of switches but I don't know what I'm putting the switches for at the moment. So... It'll be hard for me to know if I did... I... Ah... Okay. Whoops. I like that that stone statue is also like an arrogance check. Because arrogant Jonas was going to hold right and just like speed run the level but that stone walker is very much this kind of like don't don't discount even the simplest of barriers in this game you know like that guy could absolutely fuck me up if I just held right um, and I think that's a nice little touch to the level that this is a veritable cocktail of disaster. Okay, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, walkie boy is very bad for me. Fast walkie boy is very bad for me. Right. Oh, no, 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 I shouldn't have jumped in there. I was just trying to get the angle, but, um, bad idea. Oh, man, I, uh, because of the way that I press up when I jump sometimes, I flip that switch again. Might be worth mapping flipping the switches to just something alternative like Z, something I'm not the only time I guess I need to press up in this game is for ladders, but I still find myself pressing it weirdly um, when I don't need to. It's an odd behaviour. Um, it's one that I should um, unlearn. Ah, okay. So if it's not up here, then where am I going? Oh, come on. I, I meant to double jump over him, but I just ran into him. But there's that. That's that arrogance check. One sec. Let me see if I can play this right. Yeah, that'll do. And there are there are bombs elsewhere, but I can't preempt them very well. Right. So it's this one down here that I need to worry about now. If I do good timing with my double jumps. I can always avoid him, which is lovely. Flip that. Jump up. Get over here. Get over here. Oh, uh, don't let him do his icy boy things. Get that. Okay, so I need to come down here. Um, flip that. There's no reason actually for me to go up and left. So let's go back down and left. And I can't see a jump on my right there, but I see a jump there. But I need to... Oh, it's a walkie... See, that's really difficult, um, is me judging. Because of the way that the camera shifts up on this platform, I can't use this platform to spy down there to know when to jump. So I have to rely on the very difficult viewing angle that is here. 
Uh, you've also given them slightly different running speeds, I've noticed. There's another route. Is it further down? Am I being dumb? It's not above. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Ah. I completely discounted this, didn't I? I see what you've done. I see what you've done. Not seeing these three platforms was a very big, like, was the reason I was so hesitant. Because I thought I'd have to, I thought I'd have to jump, double jump into here, and then react to these two while also dealing dealing with a homing bomb. Now I know I can stand here, turret in there, and blah blah blah. Right. Yeah, yeah, they've got slightly different running speeds, or either that or their their collision is slightly different. One is making it further than the other. Um, possibly not intended, possibly intended so that they have slightly um, unpredictable routes. Who knows? Right. Right, let's assume there's no good reason for me to fall down there. How? <laughs> uh, I'm low on health. Oh, man. No! Oh. You die so quick. Like, the way that... The way that you don't see the explosion because it seems to me like... Damage is applied before animation is played with those bombs. So they just come. And they touch something. And suddenly you're at the beginning and you only know you so the only way like that you see the explosion is if you actually lived long enough to see the animation which uh, not a criticism not asking you to change that I just um, I very much like the interaction between the explosion and um, my death oh fuck I forgot the I forgot about the wizard uh, you're a wizard Harry no, no. <laughs> I really wanted that star. Right. Don't forget about the wizard. The deadly wizard of ice. Right, he goes. I want to go down there, and I think this way platform is the best way for me to do it. But let's stop. Oh no, I forgot how this works. Ugh. Okay. Let's stop doing silly things like dying a lot. Hmm. There we go. Camera stays at the point of death. Yep. Yeah, okay. And then, and then we you do like a spe press space to respawn. Because the speed at which you respawn is great. Um, the option... Yeah, the option to, like, stop, look around at where you died, work out what killed you, that would be good. But um, it's not. It's also really not vital. Um, this is me also forgetting that there are switches in this level that I need to be interacting with. And I can't just jump ahead. Oh, that first feels silly, doesn't it? Right, okay. It's just, I know that there's a bomb. Is there a bomb somewhere? Oh, wait, wait. is it the bomb that was here? Yes, okay, fine. I'm, I was thinking of a bomb being below me. Um, But it's not there, so it's fine. Oh, but there is that bomb. Oh, boy, we are getting... Slam jammed. Thank you, ma'am. Come on. See, part of me is wait 
attempted to wait for their walk cycle to synchronize. But the part of me that knows how this works knows that I should just get in the middle of them and do it that way. Right. I need to jump over him. I need to... There's a bomb up there. He's quite... He's in quite a tricky position. Taking it one, like, one platform at a time rather than just double jumping as high as possible because I just know... I just know that otherwise I will jump straight into a bomb and it'll be my own fault. Oh, we're so close. I can pra- Ah! ah, 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 ah. Yeah! I was so afraid I was about to get hit there. Right. Just checking that there isn't also another wizard. Okay, I'm going to abandon that star because um, if I get hit, uh, I'm going to have to do it all over again. Oh, but here's two stars that I'm willing to try. Okay, fine. That that was no risk. Okay. We're so close. Frozen Wastes. Area broadcasts. Wanderer. You approach the end of the world. There is nothing for you here. Hello, sheep. Cow. Bison. Oh, oh no. Oh, man. Okay, uh, what's the best way to get rid of the crows? Let's do Crescent. Oof. 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 Oh, man, I'm too focused on the killing of the crows and not on the survival of my little robot boy. Man. Can oh, I'm guessing the cow... Can the cow be killed? Because I'm wondering how you get that star. Oh, you just have to take the damage. At least, I, I think... I don't think it was possible to get that star on the second or third platform without... Without sacrificing health. Ah oh, man, I thought I got the problem. They can be killed with some difficulty. I mean, the the good thing is, is like once you get the star, you don't have to try and get it again. So you can you can throw you can literally throw a life away just to get a star. Um. I suppose I'm very glad that you don't implement actual, like, a life system in this, in the sense that, uh, you know, you have ten lives or something and then have to start from the beginning of the world. Um, that's something you could absolutely do. It would increase the challenge. Um, it would also make this stream, like, ten hours longer. Um, oh, man, why am I really struggling with those... I'm just going to let it kill me. Um, I am really struggling with those... Cru I'm actually really struggling with this level. I just... I can't deal with the threat of the crows alongside the platforming management of the bison cheap things. I think, uh, I think it's one or two too many crows is how I feel about that. Oh, man. Um, it would be nice to see the... I think having the sheep do knock back but not damage might be... Um, might be a way to balance this level. 
because having them do knockback still makes the moving screen a danger but it means that like how to put it combining them with the crows like i don't really think of them as an offensive enemy um but yeah it definitely just i'm definitely just struggling uh Again, this is just make the game easier for Jonas suggestions. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm just running into everything. Yeah, that wasn't a real run. That was a, that was just a Okay, come on, come on. No, oh my god. Like there, I need to... It was a lot easier before I nerfed the flame there. Well, um, <laughs> I for one say bring back, bring back the old flame there. Do it for Jonas. The the swarm is doing a really great job of getting the crows. That's not where I'm struggling. Where I'm struggling is like it's the mixture of combat and um, level platforming and um, hazard hazard management. Because like for example, that touch there against that sheep. I don't feel like these guys should be doing a third of my life per hit. Um, I feel like I should get punished with a knockback. So they displace you, they make the camera more danger dangerous, but I don't think they should necessarily be an HP threat. Um, that, that gives you room to make the crows more dangerous because they are the HP threat in this game. Or to introduce different enemies. Um, but yeah, man, man, oh man, oh man. I'm getting better, like this is definitely not, it's not a flat wall, this is absolutely doable. Um, this is just, as you say, it's requiring a, a huge amount of attention on my part. Um, I think it's important to make big, brave jumps as well when I'm falling behind. Damn it. Uh, and, and again, just like, uh, I'm just gonna die because two thirds of my life that early on is um, not a sacrifice I can make. It's, I, I mean, yeah, I think either it's the sheep, um, either the sheep do less you know, less damage in whatever way you like, or they are less imposing on their plat respective platforms, um, just so that they, you can share the space with them just a little bit more. Um, because what happens as well is if you have a sheep that's on the right hand side of a platform and um, I need to make a particular jump over them. With the camera coming from your left, it just, um, how to put it? They are large and slow. Uh, slow is better. I would rather slow than fast. Um, they're big. I, I think that's I think that's the only way I can summarize the thought I am <laughs> unable to put into words. Um, they're very big. They are big, chonky boys, and I like that they're big, chonky boys. Okay, so that that's one going down there. Ow. Um. Or maybe even just making it so they only damage you if you touch the horns. Because it kind of feel, they feel like enemies that I should be able to stand on. Um, and they can push me off. But 
you know, it feels like touching their, their rear end shouldn't be a HP punish. Um, but the horns, I can totally understand having a bit more of a, a, a HP threat to them. Come on. Nope. 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 I hadn't noticed that everything does a third of my health. It's... Well, maybe not everything, but everything in this level is doing... Uh, and it's reaching this point as well now where if I take damage before I have made it maybe, like, past this first wave... I kind of just want to reset the level because I feel like I feel like I'm gonna have to, like I'm not gonna make it through this level without taking a hit and knowing that I can only take three makes early hits like that just completely like ruining ah <sighs> Okay, okay. What, well, um, what weapon? Is there a weapon that has like a definite highest DPS? ran into him. Fuck sick. Okay, you can kind of melt them with the turret, which is good to know. I think it might actually be the heli turret, yeah. Still, I need to be focusing on the crows before I can deal with the sheepy boys. Yeah, I'm actually having a lot more success with the turrets now. Please let that be the end of the level. Please let that be the end of the level. Please let that be the end of the level. I am so up for that being the end of the level. No. I... You, you had me so close, but you had to put a trap there, didn't you? Um, oh man. Oh, I like if you, I like if you wait on this screen long enough, you can just be like, I don't want to deal with that first sheep. So I'm just going to let him, so let him sweep on by. Um, yeah, okay, cool. So, um, uh, I, I, I fucked this up because I've clearly forgotten. By, by sitting and letting, and not going straight back in, I've now lost a lot of the muscle memory that I was using when I started playing this level. Damn it all to hell. Oh my god. Oh my god, come on. I'm fucking up these double jumps so badly. Ah! I thought I jumped and apparently I didn't jump. This is why the channel is called Follow the Salt. Ben, <laughs> Dan, fuck. I got this. I don't got this. I don't got this at all. 
Right. Turrets go... Thing is, I, I'm, I'm already so hesitant to make a jump to that first... That first tower. Because it... It is such an easy jump to fuck up. I don't even I didn't I didn't even see what I was touching there, like I got really tunnel visiony. <sighs> I I don't even <sighs> Oh my god, I've just forgotten how to play this level. <laughs> Kill that one jump over that but don't follow through with the momentum to oh my god <laughs> oh. I just jumped into the back of the same sheep like three times I think oh no that one touched me and I've taken damage. Okay, fine. I forgot to use the weapon, so I'm just going to kill myself. <sighs> uh, okay, so I took damage on the same sheep twice there, and then I touched that third one and died. Shoot ahead. I can't manage the offensive with the crows, or the defensive. I, c I just can't do them both at the same time. I... My brain only lets me do one. Um, like, I'm just trying to hold right click in one place t to give me. I bet essentially I'm trying to give myself a barrier of bullets. But if I try and aim any of those bullets into the right place, I, I just will die. And I just, I just took damage there that I shouldn't have taken. Oh, fuck's sake. That, I think that first, that second sheep is actually one of the most dangerous ones in this level. Yes, yes, yaks, that's what they are. I couldn't think of the name of the animal that, like, I just couldn't think of the name yak. Um, yeah, I can jump over a lot of the yaks, but I'm still struggling. Like, man, maybe I should always be making a straight jump for this bridge. And then jump over here. Why did I touch that? Okay, so I just need all these crows to die. I know there's one below me here. Ah, I, I don't know if I could have made it to that little platform. Right. Right, so that's the best case with the bullet the bullet shield. Oh my god, I just walked right into it. And then I need a bullet shield here. And then I can just see this yak. No, 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 no. No. Oh, uh. Okay, now I know what you're about to do to me. There's going to be a turret thingy down here. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh. Oh. How many more levels? One and then a and uh, then a skull. Oh man, and they're clearly getting harder. Um, I didn't see the level. Um, you have one new notification. You recently visited Unknown. How would you rate this location? Right. Uh, camera isn't chasing me. 
so I can take this at my own pace. Run forward, jump. <laughs> Run forward, jump. Yeah, okay. Um, let's just make this easy on myself. Yeah, okay. No, 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 no. I don't want to do this. Can they hurt me? They can hurt me through my shield, yeah. Ah, okay. Well, at least I know what to expect from there. Yep, 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 yep. Come on, all die, all die, please. And then just fire, throw some fire up there just in case. Interesting. Firing at me from both angles. What does this button do? I don't know what this button does either. Which kind of terrifies me. So the one from the below comes up. Let's time it. Okay. I didn't know. I was like, oh, just time it. Didn't time it. That goes solid if I take too long. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Good to know. Let's assume that I'm going to get hit from the bottom and only aim to dodge the top. So, now, 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 gotcha, cool. And then I just run into a stone man and die. Got her. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Um, we are, we are understanding and comprehending. I already dislike Oh, why did why what what ah oh, man, I just fucked up my I paid so much more attention to where my turrets were firing and less attention to my double jumping. Man, crows are brutal. Just really disliking crows these days. Right, now, now. Uh, I mean, yeah, these these are these are simple errors. Um, being made by a simple man. Are we done? Okay, cool. Um, right, let's not run into the giant stone man this time. Now, now. Okay. I took too long. I need to be hastier with that. Now. Cool. They are running into the teleporter. How clever. What? Are they instant death, these guys? So they don't do damage, they're just an insta-kill. That is rough, buddy. Ah, oh, man, I should have picked a better weapon. Telefragging. Yes, of course. They teleport into my body and I explode. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Now, 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 now. Uh, 
Oh man. Oh man. So getting it, it's getting that jump after you've teleported is actually really quite um really quite hard. I like that your your bees seem to have a bit of a um uh, an auto targeting to them within a very small range, but I, I, that is good. I like that. Um, Huh, okay, right. Now, now, let's just go. Can I double jump over that whole bit? Maybe not. Can I just go right? Yeah, okay, I can go right. I don't need to have jumped up there. Ow! That was extremely painful. What is the strat there? What would... What would do enough damage to them? Or should I have just pressed it and jumped? I just wonder what would have done enough damage to actually kill them before they got to me. Right. Oh. Oh, so what did I miss on the left hand side then? Ah, it would have been the it, it would have been the room with the fire things going up and down. Still, I will take a completed level at this time as um, as a victory. Advertisement. Prepare to die. Your friend, Tally. I'm a bit worried about what you're about to do to me, Dan. Glob, I warned you not to come here. Abac um, Abacus, help me, I'm trapped. He's using... Visit the Visitorium today. You won't be disappointed. Free delivery. Oh, okay. She'll be fine, Glob says. But as for you, I want to give Glob a, an insecty voice. Glob, you put some glass over you. Um, but the glass comes down when you do a laser beam. Got it. Uh... Okay, okay. I, I'm probably just going to die the first time because I am a fool. Oh! Ah! Oh. <laughs> I was expecting that to be a lot more like an Eggman fight, um, to be honest with you. Um, hey, Tally. Uh, are we done? Are you? Do you stand there with a heart? Hmm. I feel like I should be able to... to commemorate our romance with an offensive gesture. Incoming transmission. Abacus is cool. Give me that pride rainbow. Developer, Dan Quill. Graphics, Dan Quill. Title art, Rune Jafar. Music, Charlie Lockwood. Sound by Dan Quill, Chrissy Adam, Job Thompson, Joe Lab, Voice of the Sheep, Joe Lab. Testers, Andy Summers, Charlie Lockwood, Chris Trim, David Bellis, <laughs> David Bellis. I can't read all those other names fast enough. Mac OS testers, Mac OS testers, Eddie Summers, Joe the Champ, Sandeep, Map, Blizzard, um, Ollie Do Gosling, everyone else, Ollie Do Gosling. Special thanks to Chrissy. Ha oh, man, that was that was good. That was intense. Um, you could you could obviously tell when I was getting frustrated with the level. Um, so take that as whatever feedback you like, because I know I know you're in early. Um, early access and I know that you'll uh, continue to tweak and develop as you go. I see that there are little, um, you know, I see you've got these little online games as well. So, oh God, an IP. I don't have a goddamn IP. Um, what happens if I just enter 111? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, cool. So I need, um, I need an IP and then I need to know the IP of someone else's game. So what I would say there is um, joining a game with an IP is fine, but I guess at some point you you might want to implement a, like, this is a public room, and then other players can see all the public rooms, um, and then you can just click on one from a list. That feature obviously is 
Like, if your game is small and you don't have, like, more than a hundred concurrent online games at a time, then I guess that isn't really something you would make use of. However, um, if I ever want to join one of your multiplayer sessions. Yeah, I mean, how to put it, what's the best way? Uh, I guess I, I mentioned my Twitter. I don't know if you have a Twitter handle, um, but tweeting is definitely how I do. It's the best way to communicate with me in, in like, a slightly more, like, collaborator you know, how to put it, streaming identity, I guess, um, at Dan JB Games. Yeah, let me follow you, and, um, you know, if you fancy it, follow me back. Um, at Dan JB Games. Here we go. Oh, wait, I, all I'm doing is tweeting at you um, when I actually want to give you a follow. Yeah, thanks for that. Um, thank you for making the game. You know, obviously, it takes... It takes time and dedication and stress um, to play a game like this. Um, to make a game, sorry, like this. And uh, you went and did it. So well done you. Um, I can't see what you're saying because I, I just tabbed out. Yeah, um, yeah. by all means, street, uh, tweet at me when you're doing some multiplayer sessions. I might, you know, if you're, if you're more than up for it, I might just stream our multiplayer sessions as well. Just because... Uh, I very, very much view streaming as a way to just make more of something I was going to do anyway. Like, if I was going to play a game, I might as well stream it to at least create some content and provide some entertainment to the one or two people who might be into that sort of thing. Um, like I say, I will find a way to get some clips or some highlights out of what I've streamed today, um, just so... I don't know, just so you can share the fun or, or share the fact that I was absolutely getting fucking turned by those yaks. Um, yeah. Cool. Cool. Um, I've just seen your website as well and seen that you've done a professional review for Bastion and Fez. Supergiant are one of my number one game studios of all time. Um, I'm a big fan of their current game, Hades, and I stream it quite often. Um, but I've completed Bastion Transistor and have yet to finish Pyre, but have played it. Um, and I see you've done some modding as well for some games that I haven't put any time into. Um, you know, I know David is a massive Doom fan, um, but uh, I've never really been into the retro Doom games, but I have enjoyed what I've played of Eternal. Anyways, um, I'll, I'll stop. I'm going to stop chatting shit because... Uh, it's kind of late, and I might just go to bed. Um, thank you, Dan, for the game. Thank you for sitting here and um, just talking to me while I played it as well. That's that's a lot of your time to give up, and I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, I'm sure we'll chat soon, whether it be through Twitter or through future streams. Have a good night. Sleep well. Enjoy your enjoy your weekend. Absolutely, keep in touch. Right. Um, ending the stream, good night.